Today, I'm going to show you how to build your bottle biology. Uh, you should have gotten a bottle pre-assembled from your teacher, and you should have a string attached to the aquatic chamber, and you should have your terrestrial chamber with two holes on the side and a mark that will indicate your water level. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is you will need your sand and you need your tablespoon. You will add two tablespoons of sand to the bottom of the aquatic chamber and this is for you to insert your water plant so that it can survive. The next step is that you need to add a tablespoon or two of gravel. Let's do two. Two tablespoons of gravel. And this will protect the water from getting murky. Okay, so now you are ready to add some water. Make sure you don't go past the mark. This is your mark right here. And when you pour in your water, make sure that you go through the walls. That way the water will not be too murky. And that's your aquatic chamber. Now, you can insert your plant at this time. You should have a wooden stick and this will assist you to insert the roots of the water plant at the bottom of your aquatic chamber. Make sure that it is completely inserted and so they won't start floating. If the plant starts floating, then it will start smelling and it'll die and it will uh, defeat the purpose. Okay, so the water plant will bring oxygen to the aquatic chamber. Now you're ready to position and start working on your ter terrestrial chamber. Okay, once this uh, cotton string will bring the water up to the terrestrial chamber and this will become your ecosystem. Okay, the first thing you need to do on the aquatic, uh, the terrestrial chamber is to uh, pour some gravel on the bottom, making sure that your string doesn't get stuck at the bottom. So about a tablespoon and your gravel will allow you to filter anything that goes through. Holding your uh, cotton string up, we will start pouring about two tablespoons of soil. Making sure that the string gets, doesn't get um, all the way to the bottom, but it'll cover, it will irrigate most of your soil so you can work in it okay so once you're done once you have enough soil let's put a little bit more so that your plant can leave there we go so now we have enough soil on the top to you will be able to pour some seeds and I have some mom seeds in here. You should have gotten them from your teacher. You're going to pour about three, maybe four, and then just insert them carefully into the soil so they will start growing when it's not too deep. So you can use your stick if your finger is not enough and then you're going to insert them carefully into the soil 
and now you're ready to water it. You're just going to pour a little bit of water, making sure that it doesn't overflow. You don't want to kill your, your um, plants. I will add about a teaspoon of water into the soil and then you're done. Now you're ready to go get the fish from your teacher.